Louis T, welcome to the command post. You know what it is. Post up. Take command. I, of course, am your commander in chief, Louis T. Thank you for joining me. Before I get started today, I wanted to wish a very special happy born day to John Thornburg's grandson, Jaden, who turns 11 today. Happy born day, Jaden. May you have many, many more of these to come. You're being brought up in the right way as a Washington Commanders fan. May Jaden never know the pain, strife, nor struggle that is being a fan of this organization in its past iteration. May he only know what the future looks like here in Washington. Hopefully it's very successful and all he knows is winning. Let's hope that that's his existence as a fan and um, it sucks that he'll never know what it's like to be a Redskins fan, but then maybe again, maybe it's not that bad of a thing that he doesn't know what it's like to be a Redskins fan, at least not over the last 25 years at a bare minimum. So happy birthday once again, Jaden. Congratulations on making it to 11, and hopefully there'll be 11 million more of these that you'll be celebrating. So last night we had a very spirited discussion about the offensive coordinator position and specifically Chip Kelly. There was a report, we talked about it, from Jeremy Fowler of ESPN who said that Chip Kelly wants to get back into the NFL and that one place that was very intrigued by potentially making that happen was Washington and him joining Dan Campbell's or Dan Quinn's rather staff here in Washington as the offensive coordinator. Um, I was adamant that I was not interested but so many of you were open to the idea, not just open, you were adamant in the opposite direction, that this would be a great idea, that he would be a fantastic hire. And I was like, I don't know about that. So it got me to thinking, maybe I'm the one that's wrong here. Because all I can remember is what Chipster looked like the last time he was in the NFL. I can't tell you out of one side of my mouth, that people change, people grow, they adapt, they adjust, and they get better over time and give them a chance. And then out of the other side of my mouth, I tell you, hey, there's no way that Chip Kelly is any better after being out of the NFL for, what, eight years or so? I think 2016 was his last year in the NFL. We're going into the 2024 season next year. And it's not like he doesn't have a body of work since then. He went to the collegiate ranks. He worked for ESPN, was out of football for a while. And then, uh, or Fox, I think he worked for. And then uh, he jumped back into uh, the collegiate ranks, got the head coaching gig at UCLA. And he's been doing well there. Uh, I wouldn't say well. He's been mid at UCLA. But um, he's brought relevance to the program. In any event, um, so I said, let me go check him out. That's the least I can do. Let me see what the chipster's up to. Let me see what the offense looks like. Is he still running that up-tempo shit? Yada, yada, yada. Um, and so I'm going to give you my findings here in a second, but I wanted to bring something to your attention. I think most of you already know this because you guys are up on this stuff probably more so than I am. A lot of you bring stuff to me, and I have no idea about it until you bring it to my attention. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you are all over this, but in the event that you're not, um, a lot of you were really smitten by the idea of Clint Kubiak, the son of Gary Kubiak, who is who was, I think he's going to be given a, an opportunity to be an OC this year. Um, but currently, as they head into Super Bowl 58, the pass game coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers under Kyle Shanahan. Well, via Adam Schefter on X, Saints are working to hire 49ers pass game specialist Clint Kubiak as their offensive coordinator per sources. Kubiak would join the Saints after he coaches his final game with the 49ers in Super Bowl 58. No deal can be finalized until after the game. So, as of right now, Clint Kubiak seems to be off the market. So, I know that probably is to the dismay of many of you out there. But it brings it back full circle to the conversation that I wanted to have today because maybe you have to start opening your mind to some other options, including Chip Kelly, which I am not ready to do yet. Um, so I went <clears throat> and I 
took a gander at what Chip's been up to. And um, I, I, first I wanted to listen to him, see where his head is. He's in great spirits. Um, he's a fun listen, right? This guy is very knowledgeable. He's one of the most innovative and you could argue most influential play callers and designers of the last 20 years in college football, okay? And I don't think that's an overstatement either. So he's well regarded, highly regarded in the coaching circles, specifically in college football. But really, I think people respect his craft in the NFL as well. That said, I went and checked him out, watched a few games to see what he was up to. It's the same chipster. Now, what I will say is he has evolved. He has added some things to his repertoire. Um, I saw some different formations. I did see some under center work. Okay. I did see some under center big formations where he was looking to run the football. I saw some full house backfield, some different looking things that I hadn't seen in his previous iteration. So there was some adjustments being made, but what I saw was he had, you're not going to change, but so much at this stage of the game, right? It's not like Chip Kelly just got into this thing and he can be shaped and molded by different experiences and things that he sees over time. His basis, his foundation of what he is as a play caller is the shotgun, okay? A lot of his offense comes out of the shotgun. Yep, I saw pistol. Yep, I saw under center. But the vast majority of what he does is still gun-based. The run game, most, most of the pass game, probably 90% of the pass game is out of the gun. I don't think I saw a single pass, as a matter of fact, now that we're talking about it, out of uh, anything under center. Um, the, I think 90% of his pass game came out of the gun, and then the other 10 might have been pistol-based. Um, a lot of it is still, still quick game, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I, and he's still running that up-tempo shit, right? 22 seconds, ball snap. You know, 24 seconds, ball snap. Now, it wasn't every single play like it used to be at Oregon. You know, there were times where they got down to three, four seconds left and they snapped the ball, but that was rare. You know, it's still go, 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 foot on the gas, go, go, go. I don't want that shit anywhere near my favorite team in the NFL. Sorry, not sorry. Um, I saw enough, and again, it was a small sample size, what I watched, but it was enough to know he hasn't changed all that much. He's changed some. Right. He has adapted and adjusted a little bit. And I think he wants to try his hand at the NFL again because it didn't go well for him the first time and it left a sour taste in his mouth. And when you're a competitor, when you're an alpha, you want to prove that I can do it. And he had some success early on in Philadelphia, obviously winning the division, making the playoffs in his first year in 2014, um, then going 10 and six the very next year, but not making the playoffs. And then flaming out, or I think it was 13, he made the playoffs, won the division. 14, went 10 and 6 again, but didn't make the playoffs. And then 15, uh, flamed out, got fired, went to San Francisco the next year in 16. It was awful. 2 and 14, got fired after one year, went and, and, and took a, a, a brief hiatus, and then came back and, and uh, ended up being the coach at UCLA. At the end of the day, I don't see enough of a change that makes me feel comfortable with him being the play caller here. Now, if they decide to do it, I'm on board. What, am I, what else am I going to do, right? Like I already told you, I'm going to support whatever decisions they decide to make. Outside of hiring Eric bien as the offensive coordinator, I'm going to be okay with just about any decision that they make. So um, if they make this decision, I'm a ride. I may not love it, but it is what it is. So enough about what I feel, because I've already given you how I feel, and I heard from so many of you last night, but that was a small percentage. I want to know how all of you feel about the prospects of Chip Kelly, a.k.a. the Chipster, potentially being the offensive coordinator here in Washington in 2024 and possibly beyond. Um, that's a total mind blow for me. I, I'm good. I, I, last night, I stamped him with the do not hire 
I ripped that up. I ripped that up because I said, maybe that was premature. So many of you were adamant that, hey, no, 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 no. Chip Kelly. Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. Let's do it. And so I said, well, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I need to go back and watch. So I did. I'm back and I got the stamp and I'm putting the do not hire back on Chip Kelly. I'm good. I'm a pass. But what says you? I want to know genuinely how you feel about the prospects of Chip Kelly potentially being the offensive coordinator here in Washington. A lot of good points were made last night that if you're getting Chip, more likely than not, you're probably going to bring um, Jaden Daniels on board, if not Caleb Williams, as your quarterback of choice. Um, less likely Drake May, more likely Jaden Daniels um, if, if Chip Kelly is to come on board. So it, it gets the, the you know mental juices flowing as to what they may potentially do. It kind of gives you a window maybe into what they may be deciding uh, to do with their pick at number two overall. But um, I'm not interested in Chip Kelly. But what says you? Would you be open? Are you excited about the prospects? Or are you like me? Nah, I'm good. I, You know, we are laughing at the Eagles right now. And it's just funny because this division has turned into a mess in terms of the, the retreads that have being being recycled around the division. Should we go get the chipster and Dallas go get Ronald Rivera? This thing is a mess. In the division. I mean, we're, everybody's recycling everybody's. And somebody said that last night, like, or I think it was during the day when I was talking about Dan Quinn coming here. They, everybody's like, everybody's recycling everybody's stuff around here. That could very well end up being the case. If we get the chipster and the Cowboys get Ron, Ronald Rivera, whew, look out. But um, it, it's, it's some nasty work going on in the division right now. Hopefully we don't add to it by adding the chipster. But again, I don't care what I think. I care what you think. Leave it down in the comment section. Would you be interested in the chipster, Chip Kelly, being added as the offensive coordinator of the Washington Commanders? Leave it down in the comment section. Cannot wait to read these responses. That's going to do it for me, your man Louis T, here on the Command Post. You know what it is. Post up. Take command until next time. And I'll be leaving some goodies for you over the weekend. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Until then, you guys take care. Enjoy your weekend. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.